Welcome to BaseBox dashboard video. BaseBox is our web application for sharing and exploring Bayesian networks and other types of probabilistic graphical models. Our previous BaseBox video shows the basic functionality of the application. The link to that video is in the description. The main BaseBox view shows the full structure of the selected model. Sometimes, however, we are interested in a subset of the network nodes. BaseBox dashboard provides at-a-glance views of selected key variables that are relevant to a given objective or a business process. We will be using the engine fuel system model for the dashboard demo. This is the model that you may recognize from our earlier videos demonstrating how the SMILE library can be deployed in special environments such as ESP32 microcontroller or the AWS cloud. To create a dashboard, open the dashboard menu from the toolbar, then click on the Add New option. This creates the new dashboard, which is initially blank. Elements of the base box dashboard are called cards. The Add Cards dialog has multiple options for various types of cards. In this example, we will use gauge cards. We would like to visualize the probabilities of defective fuel delivery system and fuel filters and valves. The states of these nodes that are of interest to us can be selected from the expandable tree. This will add two new cards to the dashboard, one per selected outcome. We can modify the appearance of the gauges. For example, we can adjust the green, yellow, and red color bands so that the green color describes a range from 0 to 20%, and the red color the range from 50 to 100%. To make cards bigger, set the number of dashboard grid columns to 2. We can also modify card properties, such as their titles and annotations. With the visualization ready, we can start using our dashboard. To observe any input variables, just click on their outcomes in the panel on the right-hand side of the screen. For example, setting fuel pressure drop to present and fuel pressure low to present changes the probability of filter failure to 96%, while the probability of failure of the delivery system remains low. After clearing the observation of the variable fuel pressure drop and observing fuel pressure high as present, we get a different picture. Now, the fuel delivery system is likely to be defective, while the probability of filter failure is reduced. We can reset all observations by clicking on the X button in the header of the Observed panel. Clicking on the Save button on the toolbar writes the dashboard settings to the BaseBox database. It is possible to define more than one dashboard per model. We will now switch to the HEPAR2 model. The HEPAR2 model includes multiple nodes representing various liver disorders and nodes representing risk factors, possible observations, and test results. We want to create one dashboard card that will display the probabilities of various disorders, sorted from the most to the least likely ones. The top end dashboard card shows these probabilities as a bar chart. In this example, we limit the number of displayed probabilities to 4. If there is a need to provide explanatory information in the dashboard, we can use the text card. This type of card contains static text, which can be formatted or include clickable links. As with gauge cards, we can see that probabilities are modified when various observations are entered. The HEPAR2 model contains only discrete nodes, but has numeric intervals defined for some of them. If the states of a discrete node is specified by means of numeric intervals, observations can be entered as numerical values, such as patient age or a numerical result of a laboratory test. Yet, another card type can be used to display probability distributions over all outcomes of a single node. In this example, we add distribution cards for cirrhosis and PBC. This concludes our video. You can find more information online at BayesFusion.com.
We invite you to watch our other videos and subscribe to our channel.